Last but not least of our cell organelles, we're just going to deal with the vacuole. So the vacuole, when we looked at the Golgi body, we said that all these little spherical vesicles, we've got food vacuoles, we've got little secretory vesicles, and you can't tell the difference between them just looking at an electron micrograph. They are all, in animal cells, small and very temporary and have a variety of things inside of them. And this key sort of difference, I suppose, with plant cells is that they are large. Uh, they pretty much fill most of the cell. All the cytoplasm is squashed up to the outside of the cell and uh, very often shown as filling the middle of the cell. There may be cytoplasmic connections across. You might have bits of cytoplasm coming across. They're not always a sort of a big central blob. They are surrounded by membrane, so the membrane that surrounds a vacuole is called a tonoplast and effectively these are full of cell sap which is very very watery and its job is to uh, it's for storage and for keeping the cell sort of inflated or turgid as we like to call it. So just while we're on this electron micrograph here we can see that we've got chloroplasts, dead giveaway is those little sort of you know dark Dark, lot of dark stripes in them. Um, we've got the cell wall in between the cells, so this is quite densely packed tissue, lots and lots of um, the vacuoles and the cytoplasm all squished up and this is the junctions between the cells, presumably containing plasmodesmata. So vacuoles involved in keeping the cells turgid and therefore supporting the plants. If a plant loses too much water, it's losing it effectively from that vacuole. So if you put um, some plant cells, and this will be a bit harsh, in a salt solution, they would lose water by osmosis into the salty, into the salty or sugary solution, and the vacuole would shrivel up, and the cell would lose its turgor. It would become what we call flaccid. If you don't water your pot plants, they will wilt. So that just means that they kind of go a bit floppy and droopy because they've lost too much water. Um, particularly a problem for seedlings, very vulnerable to water loss. So that's kind of it for the organelles.